Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tabitha. Today we are going to talk about general journals. What are general journals? General journals are This is all meant to post entries that will later on be used to generate general ledgers. So in this general journals are appropriate for those entries that do not have specific journals. Things like maybe account payable journal, account receivable journal. So things those entries that do not have those specific journals. So when do you post entries on general journals? Things like bank statement, the one that deal with bank charges and interest. So this, this kind of entries do not have specific journals so these ones you have to put them in general journals we also have correction errors in other journals so if you made a mistake and then you have to do some sort of general journal entries before you really fix the the problem return of merchandise patches or so so there are a lot of things that you can use or you can record on general journals and because this one do not have specific journals so let's see an example general journal entries entry to record the return of the unit purchase so when you make a purchase sometime you are increasing your inventories and when you're increasing your inventories, it's like your assets has increased. So you will actually debit that account. And depending on whether you're paying cash or, or buying on account, it will depend on which journals are you going to prepare. If you pay on cash and then maybe say cash journals, but if you pay when you're buying on an account and then you will have account payable which is credit because your liabilities is increasing and you will have a credit account payable but after you get the item and you don't like the item you will decide to return the item which means your purchase will be reduced and that will be like a credit and your account payable you will have you will have you will have no account payable to pay so your account payable will be reduced and if liability reduce and then you you debit so let's see an example of unit that were purchased and then now they are ready to be returned what do you need to do to record that general journals so this is like an example. So you had bought three set here. So you had bought three set of, of modular office unit and installation, right? So, and then you pay 302. And then when you add um, GST, which is $21 and 17 cents, you have a total of 320. 3.55 so in your mind now you can really picture how like you had a purchase debit of 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 three 302.38 and you had a account payable you had account payable of three of 323.55 and maybe you had that 21.17 
as a GST. So, but now this item is being returned. So, how will it look like, and where do you have to to record it? So, where you will record it, it will be on general journals because you cannot record it anywhere else. It's a return, purchase return. It's a different account. It's not purchase, but it's purchase return. So this is how general general will look like. You have you will have a date and then a description and you have account number, you have a debit and a credit on the general ledgers side. So let's see. So here this is how it will all look like. You have to put a description. So on the 20 January 23rd, you decide you are returning the item. So what will you record on your book? Is account payable of this product in? Well, will be debit because now this liability has decreased. You are not supposed to pay it again because we are returning the items. So when your liability decreases, you have to debit. So it's three, three hundred and twenty-three. 0.55 and now come back to purchase return and allowances so you, the account number is 5010 and you credit the amount of 302.38 why because you're returning the items and now it's no longer part of your asset and if asset decrease you credit them and you will record the GST input tax credit receipt, which is like $21.17. And this is the end of the video, guys. And thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.